I did not see that one coming. Thank you again for joining us. We're continuing our verse by verse study, our daily devotion in the Word of God. I want to encourage you, get into the Word of God every single day. I also want to encourage you, share this with someone else today. The Word of God is so important. He wants to change each one of our lives through His Word. And honestly, if, he, if the Word of God is just sitting up on a shelf, it's not going to change your life. You got to get into it. And what I'm trying to do is just get into it with you guys so that we're slowly, uh, mathematically, methodically going through the whole thing so we don't miss things. Now, we're continuing our study. We're in Matthew chapter 2, verses 16 through 18. And this is, yeah, I know it. I've read it many, many times, but I still don't get it. So maybe you guys can help me. If you, if you have something you want to share, or God's ministered to your heart, please share it in the comments below. In verse 16, he says, Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry and sent forth and put to death all of the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. So, the Bible, there's many different things it records and different levels we need to understand it on. And some of it is more like historical record. This is what has happened. And we can trust the Bible. It is real. There's, there's things in the Bible that People have said, this never happened because we don't have any historical record of it. And they would stand on that. But as archaeology continued, we find artifacts that say, no, the Bible is exactly true, is true exactly as it says it was. Trust the Bible. Now, this man, Herod, Herod the Great, he was a ruthless guy. And it's, it's recorded in history stuff that he did. He killed his wives. He killed kids. He was, he knew he was hated. He knew he didn't have friends in his people. He actually said there was a group that he had arrested. And the order was the day that Herod died, that all these other people were to be murdered or to be killed so that the day that Herod died, people would be sad and people would mourn. Um, this is the kind of guy he was. He was very crazy. And so this completely goes with his character. He was so scared. He was wise. He was smart. Chances are Jesus was probably about one year old at this point. And so he was kind of splitting the difference saying, hey, let's go two years so that we make sure we can get him. Um, but he didn't realize that God was in control of everything. And we got to know that God is in control of your life and in my life. There's going to be things in our lives that are really going to be bad, be icky, be hurtful, but God is still in control. And in this case, he had, if you read or were studying along with us, I think yesterday morning, he had Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus travel down to, to Egypt to, to make sure that Herod did not kill them. It, this is confusing. Why didn't God just stop this from happening? Why doesn't God stop the evil in your life that's happening, the evil in my life, the, the terrible things? Why doesn't God just stop this, heal this, whatever? I don't know. But I do know that God is good, and I do know that God is in control. It goes on to say, verse 17, Then it was fulfilled which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentations, weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. God's word is going to happen. It's going to come to pass. There's stuff that 
it tells us in the future. The, the great tribulation time is going to be a terrible time. It will happen, just as the Bible said, though. We need to trust. We need to warn people. The end is coming. Jesus is going to return. We want to be with him. We don't want to be against him. So I want to encourage you, encourage people around you to get on Jesus' plan, to get on his side, to get on the winning team. I sure love you guys.